Howdy doody, I'm Jennifer with Watercolor Girlfriend and welcome back. I, we spend a lot of time doing watercolors here, but we also do some ink sketching with our watercolors. So I hope you, you know, can learn a little something from that if that's an area that you'd like to explore. I, I start with a little bit of drawing here with some pencil work and then I also work into the ink, which this time I'm doing before I paint. And then after that, we'll do some watercolor on top of that. So if you aren't interested in, you know, the beginning sketch parts, you could just either fast forward or speed that up before that. And then I've got it set to music again, so you can enjoy it while you want, uh, you know, hang out and on the couch. Or if you wanted to paint along with me, explore some different areas if you haven't painted vegetables before or haven't worked with ink. And I do like to show you the ink pens that I enjoy using. And uh, the first one is my favorite, 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 the Pilot. It is a rollerball pen and it it's waterproof, but you kind of have to wait a little bit. So um, I, I might have even paused in between here before painting to, you know, make sure that it was good and dry. Ah, actually I used this one, the Uniball, which you do want to wait because this is considered waterproof as well, but mm, mm, <laughs> you might want to paint uh, first and then use it. I find that it can be a little uh, smeary but also nice. And then the Sharpie brands, this one's okay. It's called a pen and they're both uh, like a, a marker, uh, the felt tip. And this one's a little thinner than this one, even though this is like their ultra fine point, both very nice. If you haven't explored this and um, tried it out because you think, eh, it's a Sharpie, that's for the, the, the junk drawer in the kitchen, right? It's great. It is a little thicker than either of these, like a roller ball. So, you know, it's something you got to get used to, but it's a very nice way of, uh, they're so, they dry so fast and they are very waterproof. So you can get right into painting on top of them. You can always use it after as well, but it's a nice, it's a nice pen to explore if you haven't. Then we're also going to, oh, I haven't even showed you. Here's, here's what we're going to paint today. Cute, huh? Yeah, they turned out nice. Um, my husband's a big fan of beets, so that inspired me to do some beets. Last time you saw the cabbage, we both love some cabbage. So, uh, And you're going to see in here where I also use a wipe piece of paper. Some people will just paint and then, you know, get rid of the extra paint right in the water or maybe on a, a piece of uh, top paper towel or maybe uh, um, like a rag, a towel. But I like to use old ugly paintings. And you know, you can always cut them up or you know, use, use little pieces for, I don't know what, sending to friends with little notes on them if there's nothing on the back. Uh, they're a, kind of a fun way to develop paintings. You know, I could cut this in half and make it into something else. And instead of throwing all that paint away, you make some lovely abstract stuff. So I hope you enjoy the, the, um, the painting and follow me on Instagram at watercolor girlfriend as well. And you'll find some links if you're looking for some gear, some of the stuff that we are using today. Oh, I do have, I wanted to tell you about the, the, uh, sketchbook I use, excuse the yucky, I've talked about it before, but when they sent it to me, it's this wax. I don't know what that is, but it's from Canton. And this one I did order and it's like a five by eight. You know, it's a nice half size that is easy to bring along with you wherever you're going and just the living room, whatever. And it's got 20 pages and it's a smaller one because it's uh, got 140 pound. Yay! It's got the super thick, almost like cardstock. It's it's really fantastic. And then you can paint on both sides, you know. It doesn't require you to um, only use one side because it's all warped. And my other one is kind of like that, you know. This is this one's only this one's only 110 pounds. Crazy! That's really heavy. You know, it's a nice thick paper as well, but yeah, that gets out of hand. 
So if you want to explore that, uh, I like to try something with, you know, only a smaller number of sheets before I invest in something larger. So this is only 20 sheets. I'm, I'm going to guess it was like 10 bucks, 12 bucks maybe. You know, before you dive in, you want to see how it is with a, a good price point, right? Okay, so I said it was 140 pounds. Oh, and it's cold press. So that one is cold press. I do love a hot press as well, which is a nice smooth finish. It's more my preference. I think I've mentioned it a hundred times if you've seen any of my other videos, but this is lovely. It's got a nice tooth if you hate that. You know, you can't even see it, right? You know, you can see it a little bit, but it's still nice. And a lot of people that's, you know, that texture, they enjoy that. So, okay. You enjoy the video, and uh, when I get back, we'll uh, wrap it up. <laughs> okay, happy painting.
fun with, I almost said radishes, some fun with beets. And you know, vegetables are so fun, 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 to paint and to draw. And you know, they sit still, which is nice. <laughs> and they're colorful and you know, we all eat them. So, you know, I hope that inspired you. And you know, I, I write about watercolors a lot as well. If you want to check out my blog, that info is in the description. And if you have any comments or questions about the materials I'm using or any tips you're looking for on how to draw more or what to draw, please leave those comments below and I'll get back to you. Okay, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.